everyone and welcome back. So I'm a little bit nervous to film today because as you can tell I've had all my hair chopped off. Um, this was a decision that I've been thinking about for a long time. Um, I kept saying to myself when I lose a little bit more weight I'll get some more cut off and you know when you get an idea in your head and then that's all you can think about that is what happened. I had it done yesterday and my amazing hairdresser Sammy did exactly what I asked for and when I got home I realised I wanted a little bit more off so I've actually been back this morning and had another inch and a half off so it's a little bit of a change it grows back if I get bored of it or decide I don't like it but at the moment I'm loving it and it's so much less maintenance and um, this isn't what this video is about very very long intro I know but um since I had surgery my hair has just got really dry at the ends and it was just in such bad condition I just thought I'm gonna get it chopped off and give it a fresh fresh start I have had my hair this short before any of you that have watched my videos for a long time will remember that like last year uh, two years ago maybe I had it this short. Anyway, I'm gonna get into the video. I realise this is another haul video and recently on my channel all there's been have been vlogs and haul videos but I am trying to upload regular content. I want to do Vlogtober so there'll be a lot more different videos in that. I've got empties planned, weight loss videos planned like to do with surgery, there'll be more hauls, makeup videos, some interior videos, I'm gonna do like a room tour so I'm going to be kind of shifting things around in October when I do Vlogtober but I wanted to do this today because this is all the stuff that I bought when I was in America beauty wise and I haven't opened any of it yet because it's been sat in a bag in my office for the best part of a month waiting for me to go through it and show you all so I'm purely doing this for selfish reasons so that I can get this all out and then start using it really so I've got a lot to go through I thought about doing two different videos and doing a Sephora haul and then a drugstore haul but what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do all the beauty in one and we're just going to sit here and just get through it together. Grab a brew or a glass of wine, some biscuits and sit and enjoy hopefully this video and if any of you have missed my Portland vlogs from when I was in America I will link, I will link the first one around here somewhere so you can go and watch that and then there's two more after that. I filmed there's three different videos from when I was in America. This first item is the Natasha Denona Foundation X Full Coverage Fruit Complex Foundation and I got the shade 20. Now I actually made an order online when I was in Sephora, when I was in America, sorry, because they didn't have this in any of the stores that I went into. So I've seen quite a lot of people talking about this foundation. It seems to be amazing, full coverage, but leave you looking kind of glowy and still healthy and not like you've just caked on a layer of makeup. So. I'm going to give this a go. If any of you want to see a first impressions or a makeup tutorial or anything like that with any of these products, leave me a comment and I will do that. I've got a couple of things from Too Faced here and this one I was really excited about and when I was in the States it hadn't yet launched over here but I have a feeling that it has now or it's coming soon. This is the Too Faced Hangover X 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. So it's silicone free, alcohol free and oil free. Now Too Faced have fastly become one of my favourite makeup brands of late and their Hangover Primer, the Hangover X Primer, is one of my favourites I've ever used. It's so hydrating and it really, really works. So this says that it's got skin revivers in here, coconut water. You can basically use it before you do your makeup to kind of prime the skin and get it ready to apply your foundation or you can use it afterwards or both and it helps set everything in place. That's what it claims anyway. So I'm really excited for this. I love my setting sprays and my primer waters and this is a two in one. So very, very good for travel because I don't have to take two with me even though I don't really bother with that. But um, I don't know, it just, this is like, this is just right up my street and I'm really, really hoping that it's as good as I want it to be. The second thing from Too Faced is actually a setting powder and this is from the Born This Way range. Now we do have this in the UK and I got this because I was obsessed with their foundation, the Born This Way foundation for a long time and I thought this might be good. It says that it's a silky lightweight powder which sets makeup, provi providing luminosity for a finish that's natural. So hopefully it's not going to be a heavy cakey setting powder. It is loose so it's going to be a bit messy but I've got again like high expectations for this. So you probably all know that I am a massive fan of the Beauty Blender or makeup sponges in general. I've seen that they've bought out an exclusive one to Sephora and I'm in the market for a new one. My black one is getting a bit grubby so I thought I'd get this one for when I want to replace my black one and this is kind of like a pink and white marbled effect beauty sponge. I really like it. Um, it's just a beauty blender. 
different pattern but I love them. I don't find anything applies my foundation as well as a beauty sponge. Next I have a lip cream and this is from the brand Buxom and I don't really wear lip creams or lip glosses although I've got a version of one on today but I don't really ever do it. I much more prefer a kind of satin finish or even a matte rather than something that's really glossy. But I'd heard, I've heard so many YouTubers talk about this lip gloss and it's in the shade White Russian. And with it being a lip cream, apparently it's not like a sticky lip gloss. It's just a really nice kind of topper to put on over lipsticks. So this is the packaging, it's beautiful. And it's just kind of like a very baby pink, almost not even their nude shade. So just for times, just for days when I'm wearing like a nude lipstick but I want something a little bit more, I can pop this on and hopefully it will give me that. I picked up a mascara. This is the Monsieur Big Mascara from Lancome. This looks incredible. I have not spent a lot on mascara in a long time. Um, this was a bit pricey, pricey than like the drugstore high street mascaras. Obviously it's Lancome. But I've seen so many videos and so many reviews on this and it looks incredible. So I thought I'd give it a whirl. As I say, I don't normally spend this much on a mascara, but this one just kind of really appealed to me. It looks like it does what I want a mascara to do, and I thought I'd give it a go. I don't know what I think about the name. Hmm. This next thing is a rollable perfume, and this was quite expensive. This, I think, was $25, which works out as maybe about £20, just a bit more in pounds. Um, I have heard a lot about the brand Ness, people rave about their fragrances and they're all very different but I didn't want to spend a lot on one of the big spray bottles because with me I'm so fussy with my perfumes that I'll buy something there and then and then wear it for a few times and think why did I buy this I really don't like the smell of it I have to wear it quite a bit before I get used to it and decide if I like it or not so I thought it would be a good idea to get this one because I really liked the packaging and the scent in the store buy a little rollable, not spend, I think they were like $70 for the big spray bottle, spray bottle, does it, is it even a spray bottle if you don't do this while you're saying it? Um, so this is in the ship, the shade, the fragrance Midnight Flare and the packaging on these are incredible. So this one is, I'm being really old school here, but it's got kind of like blue flowers on it and it's just amazing. I will Put up a little description of what they say is in this on the screen because I am so bad at describing perfumes but it just know that it smells really nice. It's kind of, it is quite sweet but it's quite woody as well, it's quite sophisticated, it's not like floral or it doesn't taste like you've just walked into a sweet shop. Um, it's just kind of like the right mix of everything. I really, really like this. I, I loved it in store. Um, so I'm hoping that I get on with it all right. Well, do I want to like it? Because then I'll have to buy the full one and it's like so many pounds. I don't know. Okay, we have another setting spray here. This is from Glam Glow. And this is one of the things that I hadn't even heard of. And walked past it and decided I was going to try it. A lot of setting sprays offer a matte finish. And I don't really like that. I, If I'm going to go for a matte finish, I'd rather powder my face rather than set it with a setting spray. And then I add, I add life back into the skin with highlight. Um, but I do like to look fresh and glowy. And like I'm a little bit alive rather than fully matte all the time. So this is a setting spray. And it's called Glow Setter. And this says it's a makeup effector makeup refresher gives hydration it energizes and leaves your skin looking glowing so this is the box for this one it's just your standard glam glow packaging it says here that it's a 3d soft mist whatever that means so i'll let you know how i get on with this this is something that you have to use a few times i suppose to see whether you like it whether you like the effect that it gives and whether it actually helps your makeup last a little bit longer i will list and link everything down below so that you can all go and see how much everything was because i cannot remember for the life of me how much any of this stuff was. I did buy a few face masks while I was in Sephora. I got some of their usual sheet masks for the face. So I got the avocado face mask, which apparently is nourishing and repairing. And then also the pomegranate one, which is anti-fatigue and energizing. So I just like to have these in my drawer. They're great for travel, but they're just really good just to throw on. Well, you wouldn't throw them on because it'd be messy, but you know what I mean. And then I also saw these clay masks, which I've never seen anything like this before. Origins do a little pot of face masks that are kind of like travel size friendly so that you can take them away with you. But I find that I get I get a couple of uses out of those little travel size pots from Origins, but they're just kind of like a film lid. So by the time you've used it once, 
or twice even, it's not very hygienic because you can't cover them up properly. Whereas Sephora now have these ones. I got the pink one, which is for to unify and brighten and also the green one, which is to purify and pour perfect. And it says you get four uses out of them and they come in these little like sachets with a little nozzly bit here so that you can seal them up and they stay fresh. And it's just so much more hygienic and I love that you can get four uses out of them. So again, great for travel. Like I'd pack these and me and Tom both use them maybe a couple of times if we were on holiday um, or even just to have in the house. It's just so much easier than having, I sometimes find having like a big pot of face mask or a big tube, I never get through them quick enough. I really like the idea of these and they weren't that expensive either. I think I'm moving into now the more Ulta drugstore Bath and Body Works stuff. There's not actually too much to go through. So I'd say we're about halfway there. Um, I'm gonna do Bath and Body Works first because I've got a candle and it's really heavy on my lap. So I didn't wanna buy too many candles because I was really, really, really worried about my weight limit going back. Turns out I was fine, I was way under, but probably better for the bank balance that I didn't go overboard. So I got this one and it actually was in the sale. This, I had like a few that I was dither in between. I always tend to go for the vanilla scented ones. This one is called Warm Vanilla Sugar and I think it was half off, so it was about $12. Again, it's like that sweet but not too sweet vanilla scent. Oh, it's so, so nice. So I got this one and they did have two for $25 on offer when I was in there, but again, I was so worried about my weight. So I just picked this one up. If you're ever in America and you go to Bath and Body Works, it's a bit like Lush when you walk past it and you walk in it, you feel like you're gonna have a headache for days because the smell is so strong, but they have so many different scents in there. Some of them are not for me, they're really fruity or tropical, there's something for everyone. They have such a selection. And also from there, they have this kind of like more, I think it's like their premium range, but it still wasn't that expensive. Quite a lot of the stuff in there, it's kind of like out there packaging, whereas this one is very plain. And I wish I'd bought the shower gel, but I've, again, I was worried about my weight limit. I shouldn't have been, I should have got the shower gel. This is the Almond and Vanilla with Natural Almond Oil Clay Body Scrub. Oh, I've never used a clay body, body scrub before, so I'm very excited to use this. Then I also got from Sephora Liquid Lipsticks, so I really like the formula of them. They've come out with like a new nude range, so there was lots of nudes and beiges and pinks um, and browns even. This one is shade 40, so this is in pink tea. I'm not going to swatch any of these because I want to do videos with them. So let me know what you want to see in a video and I will incorporate, I'm throwing them everywhere, I'll incorporate them into that. I just feel like when you, when people swatch lipsticks or anything on the back of the hand, you can't really tell what it goes on like or what it looks like on the actual face. I feel like it's a better way to give you an idea of what stuff looks like if I just use it in a video instead. So obviously we have quite a few days in October that I need to fill with videos. So just let me know what you want to see. I also got a lipstick from Tarte. They, with Too Faced, are one of my favourite makeup brands at the moment. This is one of the Rainforest of the Sea Colour, Colour Splash Lipsticks. And I got the shade Rum Punch. I could have had so many of the colours of this range. They are amazing. And as I was saying before, that I like the more satin finishes of lipsticks and lipstick products. This is what this one is. It's not matte. And the packaging is absolutely beautiful. It's so gorgeous. And just really different to anything else that I have. The lipstick colour isn't because it's just like a nudie brown shade um, that I've got quite a few of already but I loved it and I could have again bought so many more of these and I'm very excited to use this. I might wear it tonight actually. I've got an engagement party to go to and I think it might look real nice. I bought a new Tarte um, Shape Tape Concealer because I have a couple of the shades, I think it's the light shade that I've got. If I fake tan or use gradual tan. I just thought it'd be better to have a shade that was a little bit darker because the light one is quite light. This one is just half a shade darker. So um, I got one of those, it's amazing. I know everybody raves about it and everyone goes on about it and talks about it and doesn't shut up about it, but it is as good as everyone says it is. I hate to break it to you. I bought the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. It hadn't come out over here when I bought this and then when I was out there it launched. This looks incredible. It looks like it's the best high street drugstore mascara that's been released in a long time. It says that it gives a lengthening effect and really, really intense volume and that's what I'm about. I'm wearing today the L'Oreal 
L'Oreal, L'Oreal, Miss Manga, and I just don't find it does enough for me. It's separating and it, they do look long, but they don't make me look like I've got more lashes than I have, which is what I want. Also bought the Maybelline Lash Sensa Sensational Curvitude Mascara. So I really, really like the original Lash sen Lash sensational well I'll put my teeth back in this one looks like it will just give them more of a lift because it's got a curved brush it's kind of like more packaging rather than the standard pink one and again i'm excited to give this one a whirl one of my favorite favorite bronzers of all time and if you've watched any of my recent videos this has been in all of their makeup wise is the physician's formula butter bronzer it smells like malibu or like coconuts or like holidays but it's so good. If you go to America and you buy bronzer, you have to try this one. It's about $13 and it's just incredible. I'm wearing it today and I just feel like it gives you a really natural bronzed look. It's not over the top. It's not really shimmery. It smells incredible. And this is the second one now that I've bought because I just really like it. I wish we got it over here or easy. I have found a website where you can order it from over here, but I've never ordered from them before and I don't know if it's a credible website or not, so I bought one while I was out there. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. So I had heard a lot, I'd heard a lot about a new Eco Tools sponge. So I bought this one, which is the Total Perfecting Blender, and apparently it says it's a 50% better application than the leading prestige sponge, which I'm guessing is Beauty Blender. It says that it's better than the Beauty Blender, and a lot of people have raved about this and really like it. It comes with a little stand, which I'm going to be honest, I'm probably not going to use because I'm not tidy enough to have something like this sat on my dressing table and then put this sponge back in it. I just chuck things around. It's a gorgeous colour, but I love the shape of it. it. You've got the round bottom, but then it's got a really sharp edge at the top, which I feel like would just be really good for like cutting your eye looks to like make clear up um, any eyeshadow and getting under the eye. And it's got a big flat bit on this side and a short flat bit on this side. I've got high expectations for this, nearly dropped it. Um, so I'll give that one a whirl and I'll let you know again if you wanted me to do a first impressions, I will do. Also from Ulta I bought this, which is a small version of the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. This is a leave-in conditioner and I've had the full size one of this before. It's my favorite leave-in conditioner. It's quite pricey. Um, or I really like the Beauty Protector one, but I feel like this is more conditioning. The other one smells better. But this one is more conditioning it really is amazing and i'd say it's worth the price but i just like this because it's a little mini one and i always struggle to find little travel leaving conditioners conditioners or sprays that i can brush my hair with when i obviously when i went to america i hadn't didn't have in my head that i wanted to get all my hair cut off and i was having a real problem brushing through all of the knots and it was just taking me so long to brush it and all my hair just fell out in clumps it was just in such bad condition so I got that, this, with that in mind, but it'll still come in handy. Like, I've still got hair. Just considerably less. Oh, I thought I'd nearly finished, but I forgot about two gift sets that I got from Sephora. I don't know how long this video is gonna, is gonna be. I'm really, really sorry. Let me know if you like these long videos or whether you'd prefer them split. So, from um, CVS, I bought a Wet n Wild liquid cat suit. Um, I think these are like a, um, like a liquid lipstick. I got the shade Nudist Peach. This gorgeous peach shade. I've seen a lot on Tati's channel about these and she raves about them. And I really liked this color when I saw it on her. So I got this one, they're like $4. From Milani, I got the Keep It Sweet Sugar Lip Scrub. And this comes in a little packaging like this. I think feel like this is a lot of packaging for a lip scrub. And basically it's just one of those, like a lush lip scrub that you put on, taste of sugar, wipe off and conditions your lips and buffs away all the dry flakes to reveal smooth lips, that's what it says on the side of the box. Um, it was cheap and cheerful and I need a new one. I haven't used a lip scrub in so long. And then lastly from the drugstore, I bought this powder, which is the Coty Airspun Loose Face Powder. So I have seen this everywhere. Patrick Styles loves it and it looks, I feel like it's one of those, well, I know that it's one of those face powders that's been around for years, it says here since 1935, but apparently it's amazing. So I bought it, this is what it looks like. It's quite bulky in your face packaging, um, but I saw it and I just really, really wanted to try it. I don't know how good it's gonna be. Patrick Starr goes in when he uses this, um, but we'll see. 
it was really really cheap so the best thing for me about sephora are the gift sets where they kind of cram loads of products into a box and discount it it's a good way to try things rather than spending i don't know 50 dollars on one product you can spend 60 dollars and try a few so i got this one from tata harper which is a skincare brand that because of caroline hirons hirons i've wanted to try for so long but it's so expensive um, this set I think was about 70 or 80 dollars bearing in mind one product from there is about that price point this is the Tata's daily essentials in here you get their floral hydrating floral essence which I think is very very popular a moisturizer a serum a cleanser a mask some kind of complex and an eye cream so literally your whole skincare routine in a box and I feel like they're gonna be okay sizes. Let's have a little gander. So this is what the size of all the products that you get, which I think is really, really good. Um, and I'm excited to try this. I hope they make a difference. Although again, do I want them to make a difference because then I feel like I have to spend a ridiculous amount of money on skincare. And last but not least, I bought a Sunday Riley set and this is called Sunday School. So in here you get the CEO cleansing oil, which is a new kind of release from Sunday Riley or one of the newest ones that I wanted to try anyway. Um, also the protect and repair moisturizer from CEO, then the good jeans lactic acid treatment and the Luna sleeping night oil. I wanted to try Luna for a really long time. I've got good jeans already, but I love it. So these three are all new to me. And again, I just thought it was a good way to try them before I spend 80 pounds on um, a serum because it's just, crazy money isn't it really so i really really feel like i rushed through that and went super super quickly i've talked your ears off for long enough i hope you enjoyed today's video i will see you on wednesday it's going to be a copenhagen vlog and i hope you've had a lovely weekend i will see you very soon thank you for watching bye